Hey guys, how you going? This is Billy Eight World again, and today we're going to take a look at something a little bit different. We're actually going to take a look at five of the most unbelievable stories in World War II history, and I'm guessing maybe you've probably never heard of them before. Now, I know this isn't strictly Battlefield 5 content, but at the end of the day, the whole philosophy of BF5 is about telling the untold stories of World War II. But most of all, I just think this is a cool topic, so if you do as well, make sure you let me know that you want to see more of these videos in the comment section down below. Alright, so to kick off, coming in at number 5 is the story of a Finnish officer called Laurie Tawney, who by a crazy turn of events, actually fought in the armies of three different countries. And to begin with, he joined the Finnish army in 1938 and fought against the Soviet Union when they invaded Finland in the Winter War of 1939-40. When that finished, though, he found himself out of a job. So when Nazi Germany, an ally of Finland at the time, invaded the USSR in 1941, he joined the Waffen-SS to fight in what would become known as the Continuation War. But the craziest part, I think, is that after World War II ended, he actually immigrated to the United States and he ended up fighting in Vietnam as a member of the US Army Special Forces, or the Green Berets. Okay, so coming in next at number four is the story of another weird guy, Major Digby Tatham Water, who was an officer in the British Army. And he actually served in quite a few campaigns, but most famously he fought at the Battle of Arnhem in Holland, which was where a group of British paratroopers, heavily outnumbered, defended a bridge for just over a week. Now, there's actually a ton of funny and interesting stories from this battle, but none more so than when Digby himself led a bayonet charge against German tanks while wearing a bowler hat and carrying an umbrella. And sure, that's a crazy image to picture, right? And it's amazing that he didn't get killed, but the most incredible thing is that in the assault, he actually knocked out a German armoured car by poking its driver in the eye through its vision slit with the umbrella. Now, as we move on to the number three spot on this list, you might be thinking that guy has to be the craziest British officer ever, right? Well, actually not as crazy as Mad Jack Churchill, who I kid you not actually went into Europe serving with the British commandos armed with a Scottish broadsword, a longbow and playing the bagpipes. What's even crazier about this story is that they weren't just for show either. For example, he once took over 40 Germans prisoner with just his sword while using one of them as a human shield. But I should mention that despite a popular myth, he never actually did kill anyone with his bow, but that's not to say that he couldn't have. He was actually a world-class archer who represented England at the highest level. All right, so coming in next at number two is less of a crazy funny story and more of a tragic one. It's the story of Hiru Onoda, a Japanese commando intelligence officer who in 1944 was sent to the Philippines where he joined a group of Japanese soldiers assigned the task of disrupting the US forces operating in the region. The thing is though is that before he left he was given the order that under no circumstances was he to surrender or give up fighting which he continued to do until get this 1974. And so even though he'd been hiding out for 30 years and at this point fighting the local police, the only thing that was able to get him to surrender was his original commanding officer who had to fly out from Japan to order him to stand down. But finally, if that's not weird enough, coming in at number one is I think probably the strangest battle of the Second World War, the Battle of Castle Ita which was a small but intense battle fought in the final days of the war between Allied and German forces at a medieval Austrian castle, which the Nazis were then using as a prison. Basically, as the war was ending and the Allied troops were moving in, as what happened in many Nazi prisons, the guards fled and the prisoners found themselves looking for allies to help defend themselves from anyone still loyal enough to take it back. And probably the craziest part about this story is that they found allies all right. They found a small group of American soldiers, including a Sherman tank, and a small group of Wehrmacht soldiers who, in the only recorded case of the war, fought alongside each other against about 150 SS troops. But anyway, guys, that just about wraps up this video. So like I said before, if you like the format of this video, please let me know in the comment section below and I might try and do some more in the future. And also, if you think you know of an even crazier true story from World War II, let me know that down in the comments as well because I'd love to check it out. 
As always, though, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and please feel free to check out the links in the description if you want to see any more of these videos. And also, don't forget you can find my Twitter and Discord links down there as well if you want to keep in touch. And as always, until next time, see you later, and have a good one.